So they have strong men in America then? Bud, I got a cousin in Oklahoma by the name of Clancy. He drives a railroad engine two and a half miles long, half a mile wide. He pulls up at the Colorado Railroad Depot, picks the engine up in his right hand, oils it with his left hand, then puts the whole caboodle back on the rails. How's that for strength? That's no man. I've got a brother lives in Wild End called Jake. He shoots hammers. Gee, that guy must be professional. <laughs> oh no, this a hammer to us. <laughs> You cannot be the glass of Chateau Le Chateau. <laughs> Aye, that's right there. Who would have thought, 40 years ago, we'd be sitting here drinking Chateau Le Chateau. <laughs> In those days, we'd be glad for the price of a cup of tea. A cup of cold tea? Without milk or sugar. Or tea. We'd be glad to have it in a crack cup. We never had a cup. <laughs> we used to drink out of the rolls of newspaper. Best we could do was suck on a piece of damp cloth. <laughs> but I were happy to us, dears. So we were poor. Because we were poor. My dad used to say to me, Son, money doesn't bring you happiness. You were right. We had nothing though them days. All, we used to live in a tiny crumbling house with great holes in the roof. <laughs> a house? That had it good! We had one room, 24 of us. <laughs> After four misses, we're all huddled in corner for fear of falling. Now we're looking at the room. That had to live in Commodore. Ah, luxury. Like living in a palace, it was. We used to live in an old water tank on rubbish tip. <laughs> We'd get waken up every morning by a pile of rotten fish falling on top of us. On a bed house, we were only all in ground. Covered by two foot of canvas. But we're house to us. <laughs> we were evicted from our hole in ground. We had to go live in lake. <laughs> a lake? Now we're looking to have a lake. Fund and fit your stuff in shoebox. In the middle of Moonway. Cardboard box? Ah, we were. Now we're lucky. We looked for three months in a rolled up newspaper and septic tank. <laughs> we had to get up at six in the morning, work 16 hours a day down mill, 16 hours a day, six days a week. And when we got home, our father would lash us to sleep with his belt. <laughs> that was lucky! <laughs> I used to get up three a.m. in the morning, clean lake, Eat a handful of hot gravel, <laughs> work for 20 hours, and come home, my dad used to beat us round head and neck with broken bottle. <laughs> if we were lucky. Ha! <laughs> 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 now we're lucky. That 
I'll get up 12 o'clock, clean all the shoe box, go in the motorway and make whole road clean, eat three handfuls of free, freezing cold gravel. <laughs> and used to get up this morning, 10.30 at night, half an hour before I went to bed, eat a lump of freezing cold poison, go to work for 28 hours a day, pay mills each month just for the pleasure of working for them, and when we got home, our dad used to murder us in cold blood. <laughs> That's when I've gone, great. That's when I've graves and think, hallelujah. Aye. Don't tell youngsters stuff to hear that, and they wouldn't believe you. No. Aye. in all the auctions, you can as well. Eh? <laughs> we are music men, we come from far away. What can you do? What can you do? What's funny? What's up, what's up, what's up, John? What's up, John? What's up, John? What's up, what's up, what's up, John? What's up, what's up, John? No, you! What's up, what's up, what's up, John?
Thank you. I'm sure you'll appreciate a lot of effort as well in the lab. Would you just like to give one more round of applause, please? I'd just like to thank them all. I'd also like to thank the props, the light, the sound, the people behind, the runner, the people behind the stage as well, directors. And it wouldn't have happened without the help of some teachers. Miss Barber, fresh air. <laughs> Mr. Plevins as well. Who else is? How are you? Have you guys come in? Good. 